I think that's the saddest funeral that I've ever been to, and I've been to a few. Because I go just to get it out of my system, like the sadness preparing for what may come. I would like one of these in both colors with the Supremes on the back. This will be over the chair. Then there'll be like a mirror, tea server, and some champagne. To be honest, you say that he was gay. You know, I kind of was afraid of that, you know, like, because I mean, I didn't never deal with somebody like that. When we were gonna have these gang members and the taggers start this summer youth program, and I would tell them that I was tougher than they were, you know, so that they, can't fuck with me, basically. I was like two when I came here from Mexico. I've met a lot of people that they're kind of ashamed to be named Maria or something like that, you know? A lot of families, their parents come and they leave their kids, but my mom, she didn't want to leave me there, so she just dragged me along with her. My mom sent for me and my brother. She didn't want to send my sister because um, it's too risky, because we came in legally. I was 16 when my dad moved out, and to him, his family was just like a safety net. I never had a father right next to me who would support me. I felt, you know, like I wanted to join a gang, I wanted to kill myself. Then, you know, the only person that's gonna get hurt is me. I had an eating disorder and I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. She tried to kill herself in this office. We had taken away a bag of pills from another kid. Somehow she took those pills and swallowed the entire bag of them. He found me on the floor and I was unconscious and he called 911 and saved my life. Yasu told me the reason he joined a gang is because he came here, he didn't know anybody, and he wanted to feel strong. One time, I almost got shot, too. In the street right here on Sunset, we're walking after school, and some people, like, they run after us, and they were shooting at us, and they said that they wanted to kill me, and all that. So I was, I was kind of hiding for a, for a while, and I was kind of scared, too. Now I gotta sit on all the paperwork. This is just a pass. This is like our one thing in the year where we can make it or break it and have money to get us through the next year. So I wanna make sure that it comes off right. Yelling at me because she couldn't get into the fucking fair. Relax, relax. I'm trying to help out. We right? needed two spaces. No, no, no. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going that's on. That's what he's though. saying. They want me to do everything. They want me to be taking care of that, or the booth, the, the stages, and everything. I don't really care out there. You know, all the talk is cheap. I want money. That's yeah. all I want. If they hadn't gotten involved with us four or five years ago as young people, they probably would have ended up being kids that caused us problems instead of being such wonderful assets to us now. Just to find the people in the world. And the Bible says, like, God created the man as, you know, the same way he is. Like, so he's not white, he's not black, he's not brown. We are all different. And believing in God is just believing in yourself. And I just told him that once they got through to the other side of this, that they would be different people. Los Angeles can be a better place. A place where we come from every corner of the earth together and celebrate who we are and embrace who we are and most importantly, be the great experiment uh, for the world. This campaign is about the future of Los Angeles. their story, isn't it? It's the no father and in and out of different homes and gangs and then finally going to college and turning himself around and becoming a mayor, you know. That's their story. 